we had a sleeper cell active in in uh, Pakistan at that point of raw agents. And our raw agents were asked to go and locate this facility because it was a really top secret um, mission that the Pakistanis were doing. It was absolutely illegal. Today with me is a producer, Amar Bhutala, who is, uh, whose upcoming movie is, of course, Mission Majnu. Uh, starting Siddharth Malhotra, Rashmika Mandana. It's got a very interesting story. Uh, Amarji, welcome to uh, Candid Conversations. First thing really which I wanted to ask you was, what made you choose this story? So first, please call me Amar. I'm too young and despite the grey hair, uh, to be called any G or anything after that, please, yeah. Oh, uh, got it. <laughs> thanks. So, uh, no, so I mean, I guess... Um, for all producers, we're always looking for a good story, right? That's our starting point. Mm. Um, all the films that I've worked on in the past, you know, that I've been associated with, whether it's a whether it's a Kesri, whether it's a Love Sonia, whether it's a Bajrangi Bhaijan, it's always been the story which has been like that's like the thing that really gets us ticking and thinking, you know. And uh, that's I think also the USP of Mission Majnu, along with of course this fabulous star cast that we have. It's the story that really got us. It's, you know, it's set in, in the 1970s. It's about a very, it's about a great mission that our raw agents did in the heart of Pakistan. And I think, um, you know, it was important to tell the story because uh, I think they're as, you know, their bravery can be actually be compared to our soldiers. You know, the soldiers do it in uniform. Our raw agents do it without uniforms. And, uh, and still this was, it is low enough. I think uh, there are very few films that, have told the you know have told great stories about our raw agents. Razi was one of them, yeah. uh, and I think Mission Majnu is another one. It tells a story uh, about you know this mission that happened and that really changed the destiny of our two countries, India and Pakistan both. I think just for the viewers, the ones who uh, may not have you know seen the trailer or may not be conversant regarding the theme, if you could just give uh, a sort of a short synopsis regarding what the uh, what the movie is about. Obviously, I've seen the trailer, I've seen the teaser, but for the viewers, I'd want you to sort of give a synopsis. Sure. Uh, so you know, it's it. The film is set between 1974 and 1977. Uh, you know, we were just out of the uh, Indo-Pak 1971 war, which uh, India won, and uh, Pakistan was determined to make a nuclear bomb, and that was. Uh, that was their only way in their thought process to kind of get any sort of control over India. And they started what was an illegal nuclear program at that time. And um, we had a sleeper cell active in in uh, Pakistan at that point of raw agents. And our raw agents were asked to go and locate this facility because it was a really top secret um, mission that the Pakistanis were doing. It was absolutely illegal. It was a mess. And for uh, for uh, I think for India, it was really important at that time to stop this mission because otherwise the you know the the, the power in that in the sub-region would have forever changed. And that's yeah. what this film is about, how they found this facility and what it meant for India and the agents, of course. And how did you, you know, how did you come across this story? Like how did the probably the script writer or somebody else, whoever came up with the script or the idea, how did they really pitch it to you? How did they come across it? How did you discover the story really? So actually, all kudos to our writers. Uh, we have three of them. There is Sumit Bhattija, there is Parvez Sheikh and Asim Arora. And it was Asim and Parvez who actually came to us with, uh, with just the story. It was because it was based on a real-life incident. But they were the ones who brought it to us. And um, when I just heard the premise, I was like, you know, this is a great plot. And it really deserves to be told and deserves to be made. And I remember taking just the story to Siddharth Malhotra at that time. And he also loved it. And we, which was written jointly by Sumit, Asim and uh, Parvez. Yeah, and I, I was seeing the trailer. Interesting choice. It was good to see Parmeet Sethi after a long time. Um, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in the, in the trailer, no, actually, like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, actually, it's, it's, uh, um, there's, a, there's a really good ensemble around Sirin Rashmika. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, whether it's Parmeet Sethi, it's Shari Bhashmi, there's Komud Mishra, uh, yeah. there's Ashwat Bhatt. There are lots of really, really good actors, you know, around and all playing really important critical parts. Parmeet Sethi obviously plays, um, you know, the head of Raw at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, yeah, we have a great ensemble around uh, around uh, Sirin Rashmika. And, you know, I mean, I myself, when I was reading up about the story, seeing the trailer, I myself had, was not really aware of this. 
so i mean uh, was it was it really because it was such a secret mission but since it was like over 50 years ago still you know so little is known about it or rather maybe there is of course information about it but how come it the, the awareness about this issue is not there people don't know much about it so i think largely for two reasons one is that it is a covert mission uh, you know and unlike i guess missions of the army are you know they're documented a lot more uh, they're mm. covered a lot more but yeah. uh, raw missions by the nature of who's doing the mission which is an undercover agency they don't really get documented that much so um which also means that you know we have to fictionalize parts of the film because there are obviously lots of gaps in information but the yeah. fact that this mission happened and when you watch the film you'll know that it was it was really genius what our tra- what our raw agents did at that point you know so um it's it's i mean it's uh, it's just it's just the nature of the beast yeah that these missions are all very covert they're quiet uh they're under the radar so uh they're not we don't know enough about them and actually i think but that's also the joy right because you discover all yeah. those years ago how our agents um, you know they 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 serve for this country yeah true true i think that's what makes it very interesting when you hear about a story for the first time even in the internet age where everybody seems to know yeah literally everything, everything there's an yeah. information overload when you hear about something new i never knew what mission majnu i'm so there are like dozens of so, so many people out there who didn't know about it one thing which i wanted to ask you you know because i've seen your uh, i've seen the uh, the uh, uh, kind of movies which you've done before whether it's tube light or there's bhajrangi bhaija there's mission majnu now there are so many other really I have always had this one particular view about producers and I think I'm going to ask this one question to every producer who I interview how do you people face the stress I mean if you take you know you know as far as the uh, theatrical release is concerned uh, so many times you know you're doing a theatrical release then it gets delayed and then it gets postponed again then it comes on to OTT I mean that's like a very normal thing and so many you know the delays and the production uh, stuff and then there maybe some protest or whatever happening how do you guys deal with the stress is really I want to ask you like do you meditate no, I mean really I I know I I you know I think one is just I mean all of us if you love the job we are doing you know nothing matters and I think we're actually I mean I would consider myself really blessed that there is so many people wanting to make movies there are so many stories that need to be told and it's not easy to make all of this happen right and it's really uh, it takes it takes really for you know your for things to line up to actually get a movie made so i mean even mission was movie shot you know we had the covid the first wave hit us uh, we were shooting in lucknow and we had to you know pack up and come back there were multiple delays because of that and once you lose a location you know this being a period film we had to do a lot of set work in bombay it never ends it continues till the movies out but i guess it's also the joy of what you do yeah i mean if you really want to go and make movies and that's what you know it let you know that's what i'm allowed to do i'll gladly pick up the joy that comes along the way along with all the stress yeah okay so it's not like you're going off to some vipassana retreat every 6 months no 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 not at all not at all i'm going i think it I, I, like i said i'm still young i can still take a few years of that yeah, of this beating that comes with it okay okay and last last question really for you you know now ott has become such a big player okay of course you are uh, as far as mission majnu is going uh, you are you are going with ott you going with netflix and how do you weigh the pros and cons the decision of should i release it in the theater should i go for ott this film would be meant for theater this would be meant for ott because also because of the pandemic it has really really affected the footfall in theaters right i mean okay yeah, fine I mean, people yeah, have sure. come back but still it's that effect is there no sure i don't think any of us can tell what movie will work in a movie theater or what movie will not work in a movie theater the only honest call that you can take is whether the movie that you've made will find it's whether it's in a movie theater or on a, or on a platform i think the greed for us honestly was that you know you're going to be in close to uh you know almost 200 countries on day and date right the day you go out on netflix it reaches 190 countries i think mm-hmm. that's a great opportunity for a film like uh for a mission must do you know it can really reach to a much much way wider audience uh and i think uh, that honestly was the opportunity for us uh, netflix has been great to work with they kind of you know they've really put their strength and might behind the film and uh, i think that uh, i really do feel that mission must do will find more love and a lot more love is the platform true true because i think netflix really exposes any film or series to a completely global audience 
Uh, we've, yeah. we've seen that in, I think, uh, what was the name of that uh, Korean series? I keep forgetting the name. But uh, Squid Games, Squid Games is is, is yeah, yeah, yeah. a really famous series which really made it global. But uh, thanks, thanks for talking to us, Amar. And uh, see, I've taken out the Thank G like so much. I've listened to you. <laughs> and, and best of luck, best of luck for Mission Majnu and of course uh, all the other projects uh, which you have lined up. Take care and all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.